Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today I just want to run through a pretty brief topic around a visualization. And you might have actually seen this uh, dashboard I've created before, um, but I just want to highlight one really, really important point here uh, that is crucial when trying to make um, make your visualizations really stand out. So some of you who have watched a number of my videos, you'll, you'll know that um, very recently I've really got into these darker backgrounds. So if you see here in this example, we've got a really dark, it's obviously a, a black background, and instead of um, a black font, I've turned it into white. Now, you have to obviously manage your colors much more effectively when you have dark backgrounds because if you don't then uh, you're not going to be able to see your visualizations obviously but the key thing to note the key thing to note and that's what i want to highlight here is that when you uh, drill into a, a visual when you expand it you need to make sure that you have a dark background within the visual ex itself so that you can still see the numbers coming through in your reports. Now, I just want to show you exactly what I mean there, and um, and how and exactly how I structured this dashboard ultimately um, to solve it. Now, it, within each visualization, within each visualization, I actually have a background within it. I have this um, grayish background with a little bit of transparency. But if I turn this off, check this out. You can still see that. Um, that report or that analysis there you can still see that visualization which is fine and it actually looks great i mean if i um uh, when i first set this up and i had all my dark backgrounds i had them all like this and i thought it looked great but the, there's a big issue here there's a really big issue that you need to take note of is that when you expand this when you expand it like so you'll see here that nothing actually comes up because the background there is no background in your visual and so you can't actually see anything and so that is why you have to take extra care when developing these um, these reports that your visualizations not only the background in the report but the background in your visualization actually has um, a background to it as well so I'll just change this one too and you'll see what I mean so I'm going to turn that background off and you'll see here that it actually sits really well within this grid this grid in behind that I've created is actually just a um, is actually just a shape so it's just a shape which I've put a background to which I, I totally um, I always do as well I like to create grids in my reports if you've seen if you've seen many of them especially on um, the enterprise DNA showcase um, but again check this out if I go and expand this or go to focus mode you'll see there's no inside there's no um, there's no category labels there's no data labels and that's because of the white background well there is no background and so this isn't going to work I mean this is not going to be good enough for, for a consumer you know you think about this you're in a meeting you put this up in a big, big screen I mean that's not going to do anything for you so so what you have to do is you need to make sure as I say that the visuals have quality backgrounds so in this case all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the individual background and I'm going to turn it to grey and then I'm going to put some transparency on it but ultimately you don't have to I mean some of my um, some of my reports I actually put a full you know no transparency it's a full hundred um, it's a full color uh, but in this case to make it um, uh, look good or to look at um, to make it uh, mold into the background or integrate well in with the background that I already have um, I've just put that background on there and then and then I made sure just by clicking in here that it actually still showed you the the um, labels etc okay so short and sweet don't want to drag it on I just wanted to get that point across in a video this is um, you know this is very very important especially if you are going to explore darker backgrounds which I fully recommend because I just think that you know you check you know if you if you saw what I um, the report that was uh, before I, I recreated it as in this some of you might actually um, have seen it on a webinar I did um, you will know that this just stands out so much more, so much more when you when you implement a lot of my best practice best practices around visualizations. Um, you know this stands out way more with the darker backgrounds. It's just this one key thing that you've got to remember: this darker backgrounds on your visuals. You've got to somehow work that into um, into your reports. Okay, all the best with this one. Um, take care. I will speak to you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators 
uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.